All right, cool. Well, then here you are. Hello. Hi. You scared me. I scared myself? Alright, well the good news is that we should be soon to start at least. Which is a poggy. I just have to set up the uh, the videos, the VLC, and then we're pretty much good to go. How was your day, Jax? And I wanna know how you felt during it, not just what happened. Uh, uh, I'm in between exams right now, so it's going great. Oh, that sounds shit. I'm not a fan of that. Exams suck. <clears throat> but you know what does suck? Bingo. <laughs> you sure know it, dude. Okay. I think we should be able to start. No, no, we aren't apparently. How come? Okay, no, we are. <laughs> nice. All right, yeah, let's just, let's just start, I guess. Uh, do you know what the... Is filing? Scores of these players? Mm -hmm. you have any idea? If you know the scores, if you just so happen to know the scores. Uh, Luke should be 1-1, one, one. I think Pest is 0-2. Oh, so, in other words, if Pest loses, he's out of the tournament? I believe so. That is quite unfortunate. Yes, Angie, that nothing breaks because of the Chrome private update. <laughs> Which is some for the best, guys. Alright, what do we have on the board, Jax? Uh, can't see because it's small. Talk to Theo in Crossing. We're probably going to see that pretty quick here. What else? Ten berries and two A and two one ups. Those work together. Hopefully neither of these players gets baited by Forsaken City B-side, that's usually not a good play. Um, I mean, it's anything you could maybe synergize with. Potentially four binoculars and B-sides, but there's also blue and red and golden ridge, so you really don't need one B. Yeah. Yeah, I like the get to one-ups play, if, if either of them is confident in that. Of course, it's always kind of scary to do at the start of the game, but... Yeah, yeah. There's also two binoculars and two chapters, which is probably the only other thing that's really good for 1B. Hmm. If you play 1B and then get to 4A, there's also binocular objectives there. Alright, so I assume we'll see a race to uh, talk to Theo first, although maybe one of them skips it honestly to um, get an advantage on some of the other objectives. Oh yeah, there's two Pico-8 objectives. Oh, me like you. <laughs> so 3-8 doesn't seem all too bad, although there's, well, hmm, actually... There's a lot in, in Ridge as well. Yeah, maybe you still want to skip it. I mean, they start in 3-A berries, although they kind of suck and take a lot of time. And there's 3-B library, which is like not awful, I suppose, but... And we actually see Luke rush to Theo, while Pesk gets the 1-up, which, if anything happened, I feel like it would have been the opposite, but... 
I guess Petro's confident in this, so... I just hope he doesn't fuck it up! What the heck?! Pest! How are you alive? Wait, 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 did he just get some mad coyote frames? Yeah, right? What was that? I think so. I'm a few seconds behind. It was either mad coyote frames it's or like... He's just gonna get two one-ups and one eight. Damn. Foggy. That's not how I expected to see this play out. Same, but... Pest games it up? Yeah, flawless. Sure, so he's a real gamer. Starting, starting matches like that is stressful. For sure. I mean, especially knowing that if you mess up, like, man, that is there goes your behind. Yeah, for nothing. And it looks Chad like Lucas looking for the cassette. I hope he doesn't play 1B. Probably just preparing for later. I, I especially because he saw Pest tick that off, so he knows he's got some time to spare. That makes sense, yeah. Also, hi, oh dear, oh no. That being said, I feel like if you want 1A... Okay, never mind. Is he going in? He sure is. Oh, okay. Let's see how that plays out. And... The goodness or badness of this play likely depends very much on how Pest decides to use this time. Yeah, I mean, what can he do in 2A? I think there's like sort of 2 No, there's 10 berries in 2A. Yeah. But I don't know if you want to commit to that. I mean, there's nothing that will really synergize with too well. We may see best do 2B, because there certainly is B-side incentive on this port. So that gets him tied, basically, in B-side and binocular progress, but further ahead in, like, game progress. Hmm. I feel like a bad was best, so probably just... I mean, of course he doesn't know this is happening, but... Um, the, the best play to me just seems to push progress, because Foy is decent. And if you just don't sideline for anything in 2A or 3A, or just skip 3A, then... I feel like you'd probably be first to get all of those synergies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mentioned that to Jet, but then he went Chad mode and got him in 1A. Absolute gamer mode. It looks like he will be committing to 10 berries. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not awful. I feel like if he were to rush 4B and get into 4B first, like he would steal all the synergy that Luke could potentially get from this away. From just 4B pretty much, right? Like the binders you can get in both 4A and 4B. And then what else is there? Really nothing. Uh, it depends. Luke might still be able to beat him to... Four binos and or no, two binos and two chapters with four A. Uh, I mean, maybe yeah. Because the second binocular in four B is really far in. I mean, he definitely will so now. I feel like maybe not a peasant team went to play progress, but uh, yeah, yeah you, maybe yeah. Luke is not going to be far behind here. Also, can somebody confirm that my title is updated, by the way? Because new Twitch yeah. dashboard is... Okay, thanks. New yeah, Twitch dashboard good. is buggy as heck. So... All yeah, right, it's cool. weird. It, like, reloads tags on the stream. Yeah, so. and also, like, the one time I, like... Like, I changed my title, and then I tried to, like, go into edit stream info again, and then it would just, like, show the old title again, so I just clicked done. And would like revert to your old title before, it's so weird. Mm -hmm. Hey, done, I'm done. Oh, Jack! <laughs> this seems I weird. It works for five hearts, but it seems like really laser focused on B side yeah. objectives. Because if Pest just went and played 4B, he locks him out of stuff. Yeah, that being said, I guess... I mean, hmm. Luke takes, like, any incentive out of 4B. Like, after he plays this, there's really nothing that you would really want to play I suppose, 4B yeah. For. Yeah, you probably want to play 4A for Cliff Face Berries and 4A Binoculars. Yeah. And Which I guess it's still strong. And this likely means that Luke gets 5 hearts at some point or another. Um, yeah, be surprised not and then he'll, that also pairs nicely with core. 
No, what core objective is on the board? Uh, ice on the right side. Oh, okay, that's easy. Nice. Oh, yeah, maybe this might... Yeah, this might work out, I guess, with the core thing. Hey, little Thomas. There's okay. actually incentive for early 6A here. Reflection cassette and Easter egg room. And reach rock bottom in 6B. So we may see reflection at some point. I mean, especially because summit looks pretty bad. The only thing in summit is four gems, I think, which is like very mm -hmm. bad. Well, not very bad, but you know, you have to play decently for onto it. Pest Some... is in 3A. Yeah, I was just about to point it out. Like, sometimes you notice it. Pest and Nuts in 3A, which. Is he getting berries in start of 3A? Oh, Ooh, no. I don't like this. There are a lot of things that you could do on this board, and uh, this is not one of them. Yeah, this I'm not a fan of. I mean, that I mean, hmm. I I'm pretty certain that Luke will skip 3A because mm -hmm. I don't think it's in reason to play it if he's behind in progress. So I guess something nice to note here for Pestis because he will probably not play 3B. Then at least it puts him in a nice oh, position. Oh, he dies where... with that berry too. He dies oh, with the one no. berry that you normally get. <laughs> oh, he does. He doesn't even skip out after that. Oh no. <laughs> so Pest. if you. If there is reason to play 3A, and this objective is on the board, it makes sense sometimes to get like the last few, because there's like a void between yeah. like between the wing these berry. berries. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So skip everything before the wingberry, but then once you get to the wingberry, get everything after that. And that's I... like fair, because then there's like one really bad berry in the last half, um, and the rest of them are reasonably quick. But, uh, I agree with you. Fallout committing to that, it's like a it's like a one and a half minute detour to get all the berries. Yeah. If you know what you're doing. And again, berries don't really synergize at all on this board. There's a lot of like one of things, but there's none that um you know like like no overall berries. One minute if you know what you're doing. Sure. That being said, he oh wait. I missed it. Did Luke skip 3A or... Oh, wow, he's playing it too! Uh, interesting. So are they looking to skip 5A, I guess, because I guess 5A is pretty bad on this board, right? There's only... Yeah, no. Hmm. There's only stun seekers, so I guess maybe they try to skip 5A. Yeah, and I mean, all collectibles, that, I guess. That and all collectibles. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Luke is earning some sort of work towards five b-sides by playing both one and two but it still seems odd yeah that's... then there's an objective in 3b 4b and 6b so they may skip temple Duke is actually catching up pretty fast so Pest really has to get this anytime now or he will not do I mean, anything Luke isn't Luke isn't getting the berries so that's true He's just losing progress. I really hope Pest doesn't uh, put out after this. Yeah. To get that one berry. Although he will, might be inclined to do that. I wonder if I get to sweet first, like th the three sweet berries are pretty easy. Yeah, I don't think I would take a due to her to Pico 8. Well, maybe? Oh Nine. no, Pest returns the map. Oh. oh you don't need to commit okay. to that. No, and he goes. Okay, maybe there's there, maybe there's a fat cock play here where he gets the berry and then skips away. At three, I mean. Maybe there's a fat fucking dick play here. What's <laughs> up, pick, pick, and piano? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Just <laughs> your phrasing. Oh, okay. <laughs> he died with the berry that you normally get in any percent. And Luke going into Pico 8. Okay. I, so I guess... don't dislike it. I mean, these are two pretty fast objectives. Yeah, yeah, if he knows what he's doing for sure. Oh, berry counter. Pog. Shout out to Spirialis. 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 And he actually pulls off the fat cockplay. I like it. Huh. Interesting. So now he's stuck with playing 5A, which I guess sucks because he gives up those two, um, well, I guess three reflection objectives you gave, uh, you mentioned earlier. But he still gets the secrets in return because Lupo most certainly skipped 5A. I mean, not necessarily. Like, how long is 
the rest of 3A and 4A compared to 4A and 5B? That's a good question. Also, why do Especially... I have both sounds on my nowadays for this? <laughs> Might be. Uh, he's done well with binos in the past. Hopefully he knows where all three are. Has he? <laughs> yeah, I, I remember him and Fel played, and then Fel just walked past, like, ten binoculars, and Pest ended up getting a couple objectives. Huh. Okay, so you will get the cassette, most likely, because there's the 4B object on the board. So. Mm -hmm. And the binocular up there. Oh yeah, right, there's all three banners on the board too, I forgot about that one. Getting the seated berry for no particular reason. And Luke was hiding the objectives of the record, by the way. Oh, he didn't get the cassette passed on the other screen, by the way. But yeah, Luke, uh, something to notice, he was hiding the things that would imply um, the fact that he played B-side so far, so, and he just unfolded them right now. On top of taking off five berries, pick weight. Yeah, I think that's probably good, because he knows Pest could be in 4A. Yeah. Oh, I see what Pest is doing. He's getting the last things in start, except the cassette for All Collectibles 4A. Interesting. Because <laughs> he got the berries, but not the other thing that was also at the end of the checkpoint. Yeah, skipping cassette. Oh, wait. But did he not get 2A bino, or...? Because he's only seeing a 2 bino so far. But, uh, no, I mean, he did get the cassette. The... Yeah, yeah, okay. You don't need the 2A bino. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm just on this board. confused, because he only... Okay. He got the cassette button right, as I guess yeah. I'm asking. Yes, okay. he did. Yeah. He got the cassette, not 2A. Okay, cool. Luke got the 2A one for no particular reason, but it's if you don't know if you need it, it's fine to just get it. Yeah. And I think Pess counting his berries very briefly. <laughs> he needs 15. What? 15 berries in 4A. Oh, gets... I didn't even see that. Yeah. Okay, I was questioning this berry commitment. Hopefully he doesn't get more than 10 before getting the face because oh, there's yeah, five, five there that he needs anyway yeah shrine berries since the checkpoint is so short as in any percent playthrough uh you can just come back for them because you lose no time basically by just going through these first two rooms yeah think about all collectibles for sure but that being said there's like a couple shrine berries that aren't bad so yeah hopefully he gets i guess this maybe one. he's just focusing on no, he. <laughs> this is a nice pest. But yeah, maybe he's just focusing on the 15 berries first, not thinking about the awkward but so much right now, which is fair, I guess. Yeah. Although it certainly is a misplay. Cliff face berries are beyond fast, except for the first one, and then there's a couple of ones. He's probably setting at like 7, I want to say, right now, so. Uh, I think he's at. I think he's at 9 or 10, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, definitely getting the last two old trail ones is definitely good. If you're gonna get all collectibles at some point. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't know if we'll see that. There's definitely five in cliff face buffs. <laughs> <laughs> there is most certainly five in cliff face. <laughs> The one to the left with like the 15 second long room, and then four on the way. Alright, so clearly oh, Pez gets these two, right? Yeah, no he doesn't. Hmm. Sad. In the grand scheme of things, it's not too much time later, but it is... ...odd That's priorities true. for getting to these objectives. He's okay. at, yeah, he's at 11 already, so. Oh, nice. Takes off the binos, by the way, so Luke now knows where he's at. Mm -hmm. And Luke, in the meantime, is getting the cassette for potential the 3B played later. Yeah. Which I suppose has two sense. reasons for him. Most importantly, the library, but then also he gets a B set from this, I guess. Yeah. He, he might get five hearts from five B sides. <laughs> 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 I mean... He'll probably end up getting a couple blue ones at some point. Yeah. But... 
I mean, I guess he knows that he's not in a hurry with the beast, so it's, I have the hearts rather because I don't. I think he probably knows that um, Pest doesn't have any beast sets so far, so the four hearts should be pretty free for him. Evan got it wrong too. Nice. Yeah, this is looking kind of cringe, Luke, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, this is definitely a bit of oh, cringe no. gameplay. I don't know, that was good. Did Pest... Okay, he didn't pull a time sink. Did he? Did he? He did. Oh, no. Pest. God fucking damn it. <sighs> no. <laughs> no. Why does it have Hollow Knight Runners and returning to him too early? Yeah, you gotta make sure you see that timer turn green. That is quite unfortunate. Okay, so for the people that missed it, get... like... sorry, go ahead. We don't get the change of pro change of progress lead quote, but it is certainly unfortunate still. Uh, I mean, if if Luz gets four A, he would he would be into five A first, so maybe. Unless Luke takes like 10 more fucking centuries in this room, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, for the people that missed it, there's a test return to Mab before we actually trigger the cutscene. I know Luke does not like berries, so... Meanwhile, Pest is really struggling in this room right now. Alright, so... Probably, decision... probably pretty tilted, I'd imagine. For sure. Decision for Luke coming up, and looks like he will play Foy, which I think is fine. Has a faster heart, which works for him. Has a more incentivized B side, which works for him. So, mm -hmm. makes sense. I think playing 4B at this point would be a mistake, but getting the cassette and heart would not be too terrible. Yeah, exactly. I think so too. Uh, I hope Pest just plays any percent Temple and gets to Reflection, because there's a lot of stuff there. I mean, there's nothing else you really can do in Temple other than Stunting yeah. Seekers, which I guess he'll do, but. Like, you almost got it on the way, probably. Especially if you decide to play 5B, which you probably should, given that b sides and Hearts are on the board. Mm -hmm. like, Although, Luke has certainly declared progress in Hearts and b sides. That is true. But then again, I think like 5B any percent mode almost gets like 10 Seeker pops, honestly. It does, yeah. If not, like 13 or 14. This board is very festive, by the way. I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> and they're... Oh, never mind. They're... They were almost on checkerboard pattern. Uh... I... I mean... Oh, yeah, yeah. Close. Yes, close. Close. Sure. We'll give you that, Jax. I hate Christmas. Dude, I see you, bro, so I, I can get behind it. Playing Christmas songs? You know, that's fair. They oh, get okay. <laughs> overplayed. Overplayed the, to fucking high heaven. It's incredible. Yeah. I think Bubs mentioned, like, some sometime that I just, like, workplace. They've been playing, like, the same Christmas songs you leave for, like, two weeks now. Yeah. So I'd probably be pissed, too. <laughs> I worked at... I worked at a Target, which is, like, a supermarket basically for a couple of years and as soon as it's like late November it's a holiday playlist for five weeks oh how fun it just dude. doesn't it doesn't turn off it's incredible and they, they, they have such a limited selection of songs it's it's actually incredible how many times you hear the same shit over and over again last Christmas I gave <laughs> you my heart but the very next day you gave it away Test gets Bubai drop. Nice. In the meantime, I noticed I I didn't quite see what happened, but Luke sure as fuck lost like a minute. In oh yeah. Golden so far to just getting like he didn't do anything other than getting the cassette, right? Tape and heart. 
Did you get the hard two? Okay. I you guess did. Just... Okay. It makes it slightly less bad, but still questionable. <laughs> hey, Stephanie. Yeah, Pest plays pretty well here. He won't be too far behind going into 6A. But it's still hard to see him getting either of those. I mean, at that point, you probably give up 6A objectives, I feel like. Yeah. Maybe play 7 main instead, or... I mean, what can you even go back for on this board? What else is there? I feel like Luke's gonna get a lot of stuff just based on his B-sides uh, synergy so far. Yeah. Ooh, actually, ooh. I just realized this might spell disaster for pets, huh? If Luke gets the two 6A things, that's 9. And then he gets complete 5 B-sides and 5 hearts, that's 11. At which point he gets probably... Uh, 3B library and 6B rock bottom, I guess? Yeah. And he can still to play Golden Rush. Presumably Damn. Luke capitalizes on his progress lead to get Easter Egg Room. So Pest could potentially still get the cassette and go to 6B. But yeah, it's definitely hard to see his win condition here. Yeah. I think he definitely has to lock him out of some of the B sets up that's still on the board, but I don't really see Pest playing 4B. I don't really see him play 3B, so I guess he has to get rock bottom in 6B, it's probably most likely. And even then it's gonna be tight. Definitely not 3B. And yeah, definitely not 3B. Rich Heart, Coral, Rich Heart is not the problem, it's the cassette that's the problem. The heart is fast to go back for. It's like 10 seconds from the checkpoint. But the cassette is like 40. Yeah. Also, I think Luke, if Luke is smart, he doesn't even get the Easter Egg Room here, honestly. Because if he gets a cassette like this, there's very little reason for Pest to even go into here. Yeah. And if he does, it's two and a half minutes. Also, hey, Sonic, Howling, Lamborghini, and Priok. I do like that Pest didn't, like, stop to get Seeker Bombs. That was, that was a good decision. He knew yeah. he would get 10 on his way. I see, his Briotis makes a point. <laughs> Chapter 9 would have been close if, yeah, if he didn't do double, double clip mm -hmm. face. That's exactly right. Kind of forgot about that happening. Snoop will most certainly get the cassette at this point, and then um, we'll see what he does next. Again, I think if he plays this mod, he should probably just pull out. Pepo time? Oh, do we get to see some tape action or something? Uh-oh. That's a death. <laughs> oh, there's another one. <laughs> Let's go, pest! <laughs> okay, clearly get to here, right? Please. Thank goodness. Alright, Pest realizes that he does. Sh uh, that he shouldn't play 6A. Eh? And it does look like we will continue though. We probably got the Easter egg room. And Pest is gonna get 4 gems and some in the meantime, which makes sense. Is it faster to take the feather if you're over there? That's a good question. Probably not. What I do is I just hit the cabin block and like do an ultra off of it because it's dope, but I don't think it's fast. <laughs> How did he end up underneath it? What the hell? <laughs> also, I just realized that Luke also, like, there's still the ice switching. Oh, god damn. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be hard for Pest to win. We kind of criticized the, um, the B side early commitment from Luke, but it honestly kind of worked out for him. Yeah, I did. Pest skipping the zero meter gem. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Pest. I, that gem is terrible. You you go into summit thinking about getting gems for like all hearts or, or bingo or something. And then you play 40 seconds of any percent and forget to get it. I mean, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, Kellen. Oh, that was a nice recovery from Pest. Uh, yeah, that, that is true, true, Jane, but how does he get that? 
So Pest, you can retry at the end of that gem room if you don't need berries. Lucas had two reflection checkpoints, so only two rooms away from Isaac. Uh <laughs> Nice retry. <laughs> Yeah, Pest only has 5B on, that's true. He has access to 4A, 2A. 1A, 2A, 4A, yeah. He even it's has like, hard. I guess 3A access, like he only has to play Tau, so... Like, he, he, I guess he could, and I guess he maybe should on it, like... Trajectory kinda has a point. If he gets 5 hearts, and then the cool thing, like, it's definitely harder for Luke to win. Although it will give up a lot of time, so that might be an issue. And yeah, it looks like Luke's probably getting 2A hard now, so... How many hearts does Luke have? He has 1B, 2B... Actually, yeah, I guess that's it, actually, yeah. 4A. Does he have 3A? I feel like he probably got 3A because he should have. I don't remember him getting it. I mean, either way, he just... Looks like it does with 3A because he takes it off. Oh, he has 1A, one of those two. Yeah, okay, he had 3A. Uh, now he plays corn. Then yeah. yeah, at this point it is very difficult to see. Mm -hmm. Because then he just he just gets B side stuff. Yeah. I guess the only way in which Pest wins is. Because I assume if Luke plays B-sides, he will probably play it in a way where he uh, plays B-sides that have remaining objectives on the board, just in case. So 3A Library, 6A, uh, 6B Rock Bottom, and Golden Rich b sides Yeah. So I guess if Pest can lock him, like, like what is sequentially like out of all of them, like he goes to... Library and then goes to four B and then etc. And just keeps. I mean, Pest them. has no three A progress except that's huge. an issue. He also so. doesn't have six A. So, but yeah, yeah that, the six A one, the six A one takes less time for sure, but because he has Lake unlocked, I think it was like a minute to get the cassette. I think like just instinct without right. I thought he got to Lake, but I don't remember. Mm, maybe. I mean, either way, it doesn't look like he's doing the call anyway. So at this point, it's probably just a GG for Luke. Oh, he plays 4B first. Kind of questionable choice, but I mean, I guess it works. Uh, actually, I, I don't know. I feel like this is a weird play from Luke, but I mean, it probably won't matter because he has 5B sides. Wait, no. He still needs one. Although, yeah, I mean, whatever. <laughs> Again, I, this seems very over, but. This and 5B sides, basically. He doesn't need yeah. to worry about getting the intermediate check. Yeah, but I mean, you might as well, like, finish as fast as possible, just in case. But, I don't know. Past returning to map. Okay. Yeah, exactly, one dimension and quickly, Luke. That's why I'm thinking, like, it wouldn't be uh, quite for the checkpoint thing is faster, but, I mean, whatever. Again, it doesn't matter. Actually, would it have been faster for Pest to finish 1500 meters and get the 2k? I was wondering that. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> So thank you, Ronnie, for the host. Yeah, also Pess pointing out that he always sucks with execution when he's playing bingo, because thinking and playing is hard, which... Yep, can echo that. Takes, takes a fair bit of getting used to. I think that also, that always goes unnoticed when we like spectate, because it's kind of easy to forget about, but... Yeah, playing Celeste is hard enough. Playing Celeste while thinking about shit is very difficult. Ooh. So okay. Going to reflection. This would actually be a good call for Pest. He's just making the wrong read. Because again, like Luke will most certainly play either three B, four B, or six B, and I guess he's reading that he's playing six B. But yeah, sadly Luke and four B, so it won't matter.
Yeah, 3 A start was fine, I guess, but uh, even then, I feel like it was still a mistake, right? Yeah, I feel like if you're just gonna try to... yeah. There's also some aspect of knowing your opponent. That's that's an objective that I would not worry about getting while playing Luke. Yeah. Um, and then what, what else was I gonna say? Um, like if, even if that's something that he would go for, like let him waste his time getting it. You can, like you can either go back for it later, and it's not too terribly long of objective, or, and you lose nothing if, if he gets if he skips it, and then if he does get it, then you get other progress related objectives. So it's win win basically if you skip it. Pretty much. Yeah, going for very checkpoints. That are as out of the way as 3A berries is always questionable when they don't synergize with literally anything, which is kind of this is a weird board because very rarely you see no synergy with berries whatsoever. Like, usually you yeah, have at least some like X berries or X berries in Y chapters, but we mm -hmm. had none of them this board, so 3A Four A berries. 4A berries. berries have synergy and that's it. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Hey, Uni. But yeah, there's nothing like 75 berries or. 45 berries. And who gets that? I know he probably just plays 3B, right? Yep. Yeah, because he knows, he presumably knows pass skipped 3A. What's that problem school? Pass quits out of 6B? You go play 4A. I guess because he saw. Luke, tick off blue and red and ridge? I really don't know what this plays from Pess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time rationalizing it, but I guess at this point it doesn't really matter. He just doesn't want to play 6B. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's <laughs> my guess. <laughs> if that's the, if that's it, then I respect that, honestly. <laughs> and it's also possible that Luke could be going for all collectibles here, but unlikely. You can't recontest 3B. Yeah, but he could have contested 6B here, to Yeah, But yeah, it won't matter. Wait, why is he getting the cassette now? Oh, for all collectibles, it might have stupid. I was like, why would he want to play a B-side now, but... Yeah, yeah. I think there's a reason for to think Luke would do 6B. Well, is there a reason to think that Luke would do all collectibles for A? <laughs> I don't know. But again, it doesn't really matter, so... That is not library, Luke. <laughs> I can just check. That's honestly my favorite thing about the addition of this fucking objective. It's that nobody has an idea where library is. <laughs> because nobody learns B-side checkpoints, which I don't blame them for. Like, especially the fuck. Did you see the psych match, Jax? Where it happened? He, like, quit out after the first object, first checkpoint and then played all the way to the fourth one or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did what Luke did now and then played until the fucking end because he thought it was sure it would be library. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think this was the last room. Yeah, okay. And Luke puts out, so now he'll see it if he doesn't know so far. And takes it off, and we have a GG. GG. And again, I believe this means that Luke, eh, not Luke, sorry, that um, Pest rather is out of the tournament. So at this point, I'd like to give a special shout out to Pest for, of course, joining. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for playing Pest. And of course, also and... shouts to. Why is it not working? <sighs> oh, it's. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> and also shouts to Luke, of course, for playing. Why, dude, Nightbot, please. This, this could have been a very different game if Pest had gotten a 6 <laughs> first. Nightbot. <laughs> <laughs>
just thinking about if Pest had Reflection Cassette and Easter Egg Room and Reflection, he probably would have gotten all three Reflection objectives and then potentially both all collectibles objectives. Yeah. So yeah, that cliff face mistake may have cost the game. Yeah, I mean the cliff face mistake is also like tilting beyond like comprehension. Yeah, it's yeah. Dude, I remember you, you called it like did he just do a time sync? I remember time sync had a webcam on that match and he just looked so confused. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, they he had like the opaque webcam. But yeah, I think we have to move on because the next match is long and then we have to set up for a live match after. So, uh, again, thanks for both for playing. Also, of course, I guess you probably stay on, right? But shout out to Adam Jack. Yeah, I'll stay on. Commentating. And yeah, we set up the next match. And this one is also going to be recorded. This will be, uh, what, what should we call it? Uh, pet, uh, no, no. Flair versus Briolis. Spillers. And then after we have two life matches, which I forgot which both of them are. I think it's... Who is it? It's like Trujan's... Wait, I get this. Trujan's Queer and... Oh, fuck. Marlin Lef. Okay, got it. I spell that right? You spell what right? Flair. Uh... Hell yeah. Oh, Did no, you? it's two E's apparently. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I'm looking up for Twitch right now. <laughs> no, it's one E. It's two E. Her name Discord is impossible. And... It's one E on Twitch and two in Discord. That's fucked. Just I just know. put it as Blair. I think her I think her name on the overlay is also gonna be Blair anyway, so. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be Blair. <sighs> Apo, what time zone are you in? What? He's from like. Oh man, I'm I'm not gonna say anything because I'm gonna get it wrong. I'm... Oh, is it UAE? Yeah, something of that nature. Hell yeah, I remember it. Well, this one seems...